Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul. It's a mini haul. I don't have too many products and they are all affordable products. Um, so I just accumulated some stuff that I've bought over the past couple weeks and I'm just going to show you guys and I'm going to tell you guys some impressions on them because I did use a bunch of them on the makeup I have here today and that'll be my next video that will be going up. But yeah, let's get right into it. So the majority of the things I have here are lip products. I have nine lip products to share, um, and that's a lot. And I will be giving you swatches on the lips and on my skin, like the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm going to start off with face products. I don't have very many to talk about. Um, but I'll go ahead and jump into this bad boy. It got dirty fast from my fingertips. But this is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette in Soft and Subtle. This packaging is beautiful. Like, look at that really pretty mirrored packaging. And it's just really nice and sturdy. But to open it, it is honestly so hard. You, like, will break a nail. 2,000 years later. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You have a bronzer and two blushes here. This one is more of a baby pink, baby doll pink shade. And this one is more of a neutral peachy, not even peachy, but more of a more neutral nude pink shade. And then you have this really pretty light vanilla with a hint of pink highlight. And they are soft and subtle like it says um and my first impressions of this is I have not used this bronzer yet but I feel like this would be a really nice contour shade for my skin tone personally because it's not too cool and it's not too warm um and it's a very nice light shade for people with fair skin like myself and my first impressions of these blushes is I used the more nude pink rather than baby doll pink for the look that I have on today and this was really beautiful it does say it's soft and subtle and that it's exactly what it is which is what I love in a blush it went on like a perfect little sheen and as you can tell it's just really pretty nice soft payoff um and it's just really pretty I really like it and this highlight I put over top of this other highlight I'll be talking about. And this highlight was really pretty. It is nice, soft, and subtle. And it is just a really beautiful shade, which is perfect for the kind of highlight that I like. Because I personally like a highlight that is more subtle um, and more like soft and not like beaming highlight because I'm not into that. Um, so the next face product I will be talking about is this Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder in 001 Transparent. So I use this for the first time today on my face, and you open it up, it comes with this little powder puff. Um, but yeah, it's just like a regular loose powder. It's very, very light. It's more, I don't know, I think it's more of a pinky tone, but it's very, very, like, very white. Um, very light shade. This would not work for you if you were darker skin tone or even if you're medium skin tone. I would stay away from this. Only if you're fair, I think this would work. Because, uh, although it does say it's a translucent powder, it does leave a light cast. And I noticed when I put it on underneath my eyes today, uh, it kind of clung to my concealer a little bit and it did cake up just a little bit. It's just a little flaky, but other than that, it was actually really beautiful for the price. I think it was like nine dollars or something so now we will talk about this essence sun club matte bronzing powder for a lighter skin and it looks like this it i'll show you this way it's a really pretty beach like a palm tree and if you smell it it actually does smell like coconuts like kind of like pina colada kind of like the physician's formula butter bronzer just not as strong and this was only five dollars and look how much product you get in it it is 0 0.52 ounces so that's half an ounce and it's just a huge jumbo pan and you actually get a lot of product and my first impression of this was it was actually really good like i don't know if you guys can tell but it was like a really nice pretty everyday bronzer for lighter skin tones like myself it was honestly really beautiful and i really highly recommend this actually now i'm going to be talking about this highly raved about 
e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems. And I heard everyone say that if you don't scrape off the top, it's really not good. Like, it just doesn't do anything if you don't scrape off the top layer, but we'll see. So, this is my first time swatching this. So, this packaging is really cheap, but this was like six bucks or something. So, this is it. This is really beautiful looking. So, I'm going like this. And the first thing, it's it's pretty. It's it's there. Not not really, but it, it's okay. Um, the first thing I'm noticing is yeah, I can tell that people what's people say that it's shitty until you get rid of the top layer. So I'm gonna try that. But as I'm dipping my finger into this, I feel like I'm rubbing my finger on cord cardboard. Like I don't feel like I'm putting my finger in a highlight. And as I said, it's it's. It's okay. Okay, so now before I jump into other products, I have a couple products from ColourPop that are not lip products, and this is my first time ever, ever, um, getting ColourPop, so I have quite a few goodies in here in this really pretty box. Um, honestly, so I was going to spend $50 at ColourPop, and my total came to $62 US dollars, and I'm from Canada, so the exchange rate went from $62 to $84, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and then when it came yesterday, it came in the mail, I had to pay $15 on top of that for, um, custom fees and didn't say I had to pay custom fees on the website or anything like that. So I was kind of annoyed. And so I ended up getting, instead of spending what it was supposed to be 62 US dollars, um, oh, and that was also with free shipping. They had like this free shipping thing. So if it wasn't free shipping, it would have been like $10 over top. So it'd been like $110. Oh yeah, so I ended up spending $100 on something that was originally $62 US dollars, so it's kind of disappointing. First of all, I will talk about going in with still the face powder stuff. I'm going to talk about Double Play by ColourPop. So you have a blush and a highlight, and the blush is called Getting Handsy, and the highlight is called Pat It Down. So you take off this really cute packaging. The thing I don't like about this is it doesn't say what it's called. It doesn't say it's called Double Play or anything on the packaging or the shades are called themselves, only on the outer packaging that you take off. So this is what they look like. I know this is supposed to be a blush, but personally I would use this as a bronzer just for my skin tone. It would look really bad as a blush. Maybe in the summer it would be more pretty, but I think I would use this as an all over like really warm orange toned bronzer. And then this highlight, it's kind of like has the same undertone as this, like the orangey undertone. And this is a really, really beautiful color, but I found when I put it on my face, it didn't translate as well. It looked really nice on the cupid's bow and the nose and everything, but when I put it on my cheekbones, I also layered it, layered it with the e.l.f. one. I just don't think it went on as well. And it was kind of disappointing, but when you dip your finger into this, it's really nice and creamy. First, I'm going to talk about Running Late by ColourPop. This shade, I used it on my lid today, and my underneath my lash line to smoke it out and this color is just beautiful it is bomb I love it I highly recommend it if you're looking for a solid orange that is just going to make all the neutral looks pop I would suggest this one it is amazing beautiful first impressions blew me away now I have this one and this is in the shade labyrinth so this one is a more dusty rose shade. It's really pretty. But these are the two eyeshadows by ColourPop, and as you can tell, the pigmentation is there. These are both really beautiful colors. I highly recommend them. Now I have three Sinful Colors nail polishes. So last night I decided to paint my nails with this Sinful Color shade. This hand is just horrible it's my non-dominant this is my dominant hand so I painted it with my non-dominant and um hi what happened but this is in the shade Skylark and this is just really pretty for like spring summer it's just a really nice baby orange shade these were only two dollars and the pigmentation was really good for being two dollars I did three coats but I could have got away with two 
So yeah, I got these three shades. So I got this shade, which is Endless Blue, and I honestly have a shade like this from Revlon, um, but that one's starting to get goopy because I've had it for like two, three years now, and it was my, it's my all-time favorite nail polish shade is this one. And this looks really similar to the one on 13 Reasons Why. She uses to write the numbers on the tapes. Um, and also the one that her mom like paints her one finger when she's going through her room. Um, I'm not sure if this is a shade actually, but it looks really similar. It's the same brand, so I think this is the shade, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this one is in endless blue and it's really beautiful. I can't wait for summer or like middle of spring to start wearing this when it's really warm out. It's going to look so beautiful. And then I have this really fun, funky color. It's like a nice corally orange. Um... And this one's in the shade Hazard, and this one's just really beautiful, and it's going to be perfect for some summer, spring. These are all like summer, spring shades. I would use them in both times of the year. Lipstick time. We are about to get real right now. I will talk about my hard candy um, liquid lipsticks. So these two right here are Velvet Mousse Matte Lipsticks. And then this one here is a metallic. First, I will swatch Hard Candy Heather. This one's in the shade Buttercup. This one's like really moussey. The other one was like mousse, but not like insane. This one's like legit, like mousse. And it's really pretty. It's a really nice nude, everyday nude shade. It's really beautiful. I really love that color, actually. So I am not into the metallic lip trend. I think it's ugly. I do not like it. But I wanted to try one. And when I tried this on my lips, I was honestly like blown away by the pigmentation of this and how pretty it looked on me. Um, and this is in the shade Queen of Hearts. Okay, so the last six products I have to talk about are these lip products by ColourPop. And honestly... It's so my first time getting ColourPop and I wasn't aware but I got four lip shades that are all the same tone. Legit. What what was I thinking? This one's a gloss and it's more lighter than the other ones. Um, it's the one I have on my lips with one of these. But hello, do these not look the same? Like they have the slightest slightest difference among them like these. I wanted to try new lipsticks and I ended up getting three of the same. So I'm going to swatch these three first and then I'll show you the other three. So here we have Naughty which is an ultra matte lip. We have Likely which is an ultra satin lip and then we have Aquarius by Kathleen Lights which is an ultra satin lip. So I'm first going to swatch Aquarius. These are the three here. We have Naughty, Likely, and Aquarius. So as you can see, they are all very similar, but they are different when they're actually swatched. So Naughty is what I have on my lips today with the gloss. Um, and that one's an ultra matte lip, and these two are ultra satin. So this is Naughty and Aquarius. And Aquarius is more deeper. It's more dark. It has more of, like, a more rich undertone, whereas this one's more peachy, more orangey undertone. These ones have pretty similar undertones. I said this one has more of, like, a pink, not like a pink, but, like, a deep brownie pink undertone. And then this one has more of a orangey brownie. This one's, like, orange orangey brown and pinky brown undertone and honestly I'm blown away by the ultra matte lips I am screaming I tried it for the first time today and you guys will see that in my next video for this tutorial on this look oh my gosh I don't even know you guys will see me rant about it but I put it on my lips and I was like okay so now I'm gonna go in with their Ultra Glossy Lip in Fairy Floss, and this is what I have on top of Naughty. And it's just a really beautiful nude lip gloss, like an everyday nude beautiful shade. And then I have this Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Sunday. That's beautiful. 
It kind of reminds me of Dusty Rose by Anastasia. And then the last lip shade from ColourPop is this Ultra Matte Lip in Mama. A nice, hot, burnt orange red. So I'm like honestly screaming at this color because it is so magnificent. It's like a beautiful rust terracotta amazingness. Look at that shade. That is gorgeous. That is going to be beautiful for summer. All year round actually this shade. This is amazing. This might be my favorite one actually. Even though I really love the nudes. This is just like beautiful. These are all like affordable makeup products and some of these are good. Some of these are okay. Um, you guys will see in future videos. I'll update you on how I like all these products. But yeah, that was my mini haul. I hope you guys like it. It's my first haul. Um, I'm very poor, so I can't afford makeup. So this is like once in, like a blue moon that I will do a haul. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this kind of video, please let me know. And um, the reason I haven't been on YouTube for like a long time now is I am really busy with school. I'm in finals. I should be studying right now actually. And I have been really sick for the past two weeks now. I have been like dead in bed sick. But yeah, so that's the end of the video guys. Um, you guys can follow me at lindsayconnors underscore on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the video on this tutorial. Bye guys!